Hello guys. Um, this is the Aviationist here with you guys today, and today we're gonna be playing some Flight Simulator X. Uh, I have a, it's, it's gonna be great. Uh, I have a flight set up, uh, we're not gonna be flying just for fun today. We're gonna be flying a Mooney, uh, it's my personal aircraft. Right now it's parked at my, uh, home airport. Uh, which actually it's parked right now at... Uh, Greenville uh, Municipal, ah, on flight from their next year, and uh, we're gonna be flying that to Capital City in Lansing, Michigan, obviously. So it's it's gonna be great. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good flight. We're gonna get some views uh, up in the air, and it's just uh, gonna be a great day for flying. I can already tell. Uh, join my fan group if you haven't already. For it's uh, on Discord. Uh, if you go to, I believe it's discordapp.com on it on a browser, then you can it'll bring up I think your uh, just search up Discord in in a browser, click on the link that uh looks like discordapp.com, and some of you may be, use this already, but. I've used this for a long time. I have lots of servers on it. I have joined lots of servers on it. It's a really good tool for gamers to communicate with each other. So, uh, join the Discord. Just go onto the, the website, and at the very bottom of your list of servers, maybe you don't have any right now, uh, but there will be a plus button. Hit that plus button. Uh, <laughs> hit that plus button. And then uh, go to join server with a uh, with a uh, with uh, you know what? I'm really quick. I'm just gonna I I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, sorry for this, but I'm, I'm gonna just show you, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is not one to... Yeah, this is like, uh... Wow, well, alright. Um, maybe I may, um... Oh, wait, let's see, let's see. This. No, it doesn't. Um, this is... Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys it, but, you know what, maybe not. I, I don't I don't even need to I guess because I mean you just go down to the plus button join a server and then there'd be an instant invite so you could just put the code in right there or you like like it shows you some examples but yeah you just put the code in and the code is it is case sensitive by the way but uh, the code is lowercase m uh, capital H, lowercase j, capital U, lowercase s, lowercase a, and lowercase q. That's also right there on your screen that uh, those letters come right after the code. But the, put that into the join server thing, and you can join my server. It'll say, oh yeah, uh, the aviationist has invited you to a server and be my fan group. Uh, so... Now that we got that covered, I think it's about time that we uh, get into uh, Flight Simulator X. So uh, let's just uh, let's just get right into the game. All right, we're here in the game, and it's looking magnificent as always. Uh, this is my Mooney. Uh, we are our call sign. Our, our call sign today is. Uh, November 1000 Bravo. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you notice, it's a little bit of a crooked parking here. 
Yeah, that was me, because I recently just did a flight that was... I took off from this airport, and I just flew around the airport. Uh, well, actually, I just took off, uh, entered the left, left-hand left traffic pattern, followed it around, and then came in for a landing. I was going to do a, a complete circle around the, the airport, but I was like, you know what? I should record, actually, it, because... I'm not, I mean, like, I'm not doing anything, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this, so we're just gonna climb into the cockpit here, uh, so we're gonna just open up the door, and climb inside of our cockpit here, which is, uh, looking quite nice, actually, <laughs> uh, if, if you guys think, uh, if you guys think my cockpit looks a bit nice, uh, you can put that in the comments, uh, I just cleaned it today, so. That took many hours of me sitting here clean. So we're gonna start up our systems. Uh, uh, we sh uh, keeping our lights off for the time being. I just want to make sure everything's off. All right. Now the engine startup. I'll, uh, I don't know if a lot of you know how to start up an engine. Start up the engine in this aircraft. I bet you do. It's really simple. But uh, uh, before we do that, we're gonna. I'll, I'll walk you through the whole process, but, so, uh, we're just gonna see, okay, there's our line that shows us where it is towards our, uh, thing. we're gonna, we're gonna look, uh, around our air, aircraft for air traffic, I see there's, there's a plane up there, which I don't think should be a problem, I don't know if it's landing here or not, uh, this airport's usually, uh, pretty much dead all the time, uh, not too much air traffic, uh, comes here, so, uh, we're actually now going to start the engines, so, uh, what you want to do is put the mixture, uh, the mixture control, put that all the way in to 100%, we're gonna, I'm using a joystick, by the way, guys, so, so, we're gonna put our throttle here at idle, make sure our parking brake is on, because, uh, after we turn on the engine, we don't want to, since our power is at idle, the plane still won't move because it's just at idle, so, uh, it still won't move, but, I mean, it could start the roll, roll forward, and if there's a terminal in front of us, we'd go crashing right into that. So, then we take our, our magneto switch, which is our stutter, uh, our stutter key. I roll my mouse down, and, like, just turn the key there. Oh, uh, and then we just start the engine. Look at that, guys. Alright, so we've got a step one for our flight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our navigation lights and our beacon lights. We are ready, uh, we are ready to push back. Now, I don't want to just go and start pushing back because there could be aircraft around to me or maybe even right behind me because I cannot see that. Uh, I'm just going to do a nice uh, frequency uh, announcement to the uh, other aircraft. November 1, 0, 0, 0, Bravo is now uh, starting, starting and pushing back to parking to. Alright, we've uh, notified the frequency and everyone around in it that we're going to be pushing back and starting our and starting our we are going to want to... Yankee 70 traffic, American Pacific 769 is what one mile south inbound, visual, runway 36. Okay, so we've got someone landing on 36, which is actually the runway we are going to be going on to. Uh, so... Uh, if we're... Alright, so... We are going to want to go down to 10, actually take off in that direction, so, we're gonna push back to two. Okay, so now we're, uh, pushing back. Okay, so, uh, I, what I just did there was shift P for push back, and then right after that, I pushed two, which that, uh, 
that makes so one, uh, if you press one right after that, that pushes you back with the tail left, and two pushes you back with the, obviously, the tail right. Um, so, stop that there, parking brakes on, and we are now going to turn on our taxi lights. And then we are going to test our uh, flight controls, so I'm just looking around here, making sure everything's good, the downer, our flaps, make sure these are operating nicely. Now I can't really see back there, but obviously in, uh, in, in real life I could actually, I could make my head around and push it right up against the glass to see the, uh, the elevator, but I obviously I can't. So, I know there is ways around that, but I'm, I'm too lazy for that right now. Alright, uh, November 1, 0, 0. traffic, American Pacific 769 Pacific Miles South Inbound, visual, runway 36. Did, did, did you just, did you just see that? The, the person just cut me off. I was in the middle of making a free frequency announcement, and that person just starts talking, and it's... Wow, that, that was a little bit nervy. Alright, November 100, Bravo now taxiing to runway to the one zero. So, we're gonna push throttle up a bit more here. And then turn out onto the taxiway. Which, I mean, that person's, uh, that, I don't know that they don't the call sign. But, they said they were landing, but I don't see them anywhere. Am I, am I in the wrong? No, I, I'm in the, I'm in the right one. I, I was trying to think, you know, am I in the wrong radio channel? But I, I'm, I'm in the right one. Which I, I don't see that aircraft anywhere. I mean, like they, they, they say. I, I don't. Maybe we're, we're probably just gonna wait for them to land, uh, or for them to say they landed. We're taxiing to the runway anyway, so we're taxiing to runway 10 actually, and I just was... Oh, wait, is that a... Is, is that, is that aircraft moving or, or is, what? Alright, but I gotta do a full 360 because I completely left the runway. I, I can't get out more. Strobe lights and recognition lights. We want to make sure people, uh, other 
aircraft can see us. I, I'm assuming that it's uh, going to be safe for me to take off because I don't, I don't see him anywhere. Wait, is that, is that the way up there? That, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, but like that, uh, the, the jet, like the, whatever, the jet stream thing that's coming out of the engines, I, I don't, I don't know if that's it, but. Oh well, uh, I'm just gonna. Yankee 70 traffic, American Pacific 769 is clear of the runway. Clear, clear of the runway, yeah. Um, alright then, where's that one air? That, that's still over there. Alright then, well, they said they cleared the runway, so. I'm just gonna take the word for it. Uh, we're just. Uh. Yeah. November 100 Bravo is now entering runway 10 and taking off. Yeah, they're, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm just setting up my camera. Yeah, there we go. Uh, they're nowhere to be seen. So it's gonna crash. I think that'd be pretty cool, you know, just to uh, fly over Grand Rapids. Um, it uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like it. No, because KGRR uh, right there, that's uh, Gerald R. Ford International Airport in Grand Rapids. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Um, it's controlled airspace. Okay, why won't it, why won't it let me? Ooh. 
Okay, see, I don't I don't remember what I did to get that up. Oh whoops. Um See I, I, I could I could look at that but Capital City, alright. Uh so it is a Alright. Yeah, I've never actually gotten to this, but it does not look like we're going to be going through Grand Rapids. Uh, right here is uh, Grand Rapids, really. Around here where Grand Rapids International Airport is. Uh, uh, but, yeah, it looks like we're not going to be...
slightly, I guess. Okay, so we're about halfway. <laughs> you can see my, yeah, see, that's that's what I was talking about. I, I circled the airport before this, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I, I circled the airport, and then I landed. Yeah. So there, there's our little flight path right there. Very nice. Yes, I can print this out if I wanted to. That, that's one of the things I love about FSX. You could just, like, print stuff. I think I just broke it. Because I don't actually want to print it. But you could just, like, print some of these documents off of your flight simulator. Which is, it's really, uh, really cool. Okay. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go back into the Just been instructed to land a uh, runway, and I want to know where that is. So I I can start to see it. if you didn't if you didn't notice it. I can start to see the runway. Um, no. So uh, runway. It it won't it won't tell me uh. I, I believe it said two eight right. Did it? Because I'm guessing this is uh two eight right. But two eight right is looks longer than two eight left. Wait oh wait, 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 no, wait, no. I I don't I'm not it says there's four runway or, or there's a lot of runways, and, uh, I, it either said, I think it's a 2-8, right, because that's the shortest, uh, shortest runway, uh, because that'd just be, uh, that'd be, uh, ideal, I mean, to, but where's 2-8, right, that's, so I gotta turn right, and then I'm gonna guess it's that one straight one. I think that, that's, that's it, right? Up. 
no idea where I'm going. What runway? I, I think 28, right? But again, I'm not sure. Uh, they did say uh, right, uh, right and uh, traffic pattern. So I have to fly to the right and go down with
why is this like so out from the whole airport? It's cool. I literally see it nowhere. Zero 
and I broke a lot of rules in aviation, uh, being that you cannot fly under, I believe it's 500 uh, feet uh, from the ground uh, while flying because uh, I was nowhere near the runway and I think I was at like 300 feet. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna shut off the engine. You, you don't really want to push the, like, take out the mixture control because that could break it. They, uh, and we don't, we don't want to break on you. So we're just going to turn the switch off and then once the engine stops, then we could cut the mixture. Uh, turn off the lights. We didn't already turn off. There we go. Everything should be preset. Alright. And then once we make sure everything is all good, we turn off all these. And then, we obviously open the door. And, uh, shut up. And there we go. <laughs> That is a terrible, uh, parking job. You guys may, may be thinking right now, like, oh, his, uh, his, his future is, uh, is gone, I guess. He'll, he'll never become a pilot, you know? Maybe that's true, but... That, that was, that was absolutely horrible. And I, I am playing with a keyboard and stuff. I'd be, a, I believe, a lot better in the actual cockpit itself because I keep like messing with the controls and then my my hands like 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 flip or something. It was that was really bad. Uh I'm gonna try to make sure that never happens again, that that flight. It was a pretty bad takeoff. It it was a a pretty bad takeoff at the beginning because I like really launched up. Well, that's because I was kind of getting nervous because at the end of the at the end of the the runway were the trees. So. You know, I don't even know why they put me way at the end of the whole thing, which was it was it's really weird because like why would you? Because I'm like way back here, as you as you can see, I'm like. Well, I guess now I have to. <laughs> I guess now I have to walk all the way back to the the terminal. I guess uh, to uh, get to the parking, get to the car rental place, so I can go rent a car. So I guess I'll see you guys as I uh, get into the terminal. I guess it's, it's, it's going to be a long walk. As man. I I, I think they I think they actually like put me there I guess because they knew I broke all those laws and I just completely didn't know where I was going so they're like you know what that guy can be a little untrustworthy I guess because he he could be a little bit untrustworthy so let's just let's just keep him away from all the activity with <laughs> all the jets and I I nearly went out onto an uh, onto a runway without even checking. Uh, it's surrounding my surroundings to make sure an aircraft wasn't like taking off But I, I guess their traffic control would tell me to hold uh, to, to stop taxiing But who knows they, they might have not seen it. I hope they didn't see it because uh, Yeah uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if when I get over to the terminal building uh, I get my pilot license taken away, but you know <laughs> it's like like my boss of the airline, I work for American Airline Virtual. It's like my boss is there. It's like, yeah, that was a uh, some pretty pretty bad flying. I don't even want to know how you fly that regional jet that I've assigned you. And I'm like, <laughs> that's me. That's actually not at all how I fly that. I, I fly that with care. Yeah. I may crash it the next time I fly it because it's it's, it's been a while since I've flown it, and uh, I may crash it. But yeah. <laughs> that that's for another video, I guess. Uh, maybe my next video I sh I should probably do like a an emergency landing type thing, like I have a failure. But I don't know. Th those are 
I guess, maybe. Like a failure upon takeoff or a failure on landing. Or during cruise, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you guys wanna like wanna see. If you join my Discord, you guys can uh put on put there some like tag me with some suggestions for the for the uh for my videos. Like what I should do here on FSX. Uh what other uh what other um uh, flight simulators you wanna you want to see me uh, play. I'm in the process of trying to get uh, X-Plane 11, but my computer like, can't really handle it. As you saw during uh, landing, that was that was pretty rough. But, uh... The awkward ad in the background, that's... <laughs> uh, that's nice. You know, I should make this my intro, I guess. I don't really have an intro right now. It'd be a little bit hard for them. Because I do win, I guess, at flight simulators. Alright guys, th that's been a lot of uh, talking time. I think it's about, uh, what was that? Oh, I don't know, but a lot. Um, join, join my fan group, so... I, I, I'd like to have you guys there, because, yeah, and you guys just ask me any questions you want, uh, stay tuned for more, uh, for more of my, my videos, yeah, there's the, the code on there, it's been up there for a while, uh, I guess I'm going to start walking now, so, <laughs> all the way back to the terminal. And that's my Discord. Yeah, uh, people tag me a lot, I guess, because it's... I never really catch a break. Well, guys, uh, also, Thanksgiving is over, over so I, ha I hope you had a very uh, a great Thanksgiving. And uh, I hope you ate a lot and enjoyed being with family, if that's what you did, or staying home, whatever. It's awesome. I hope you had a great day. Uh, but just know tomorrow's, m or not tomorrow, when, Monday is, I, I'm not even going to say any of that because I don't know when this is going to finish uploading. <laughs> so, you just have a great rest of your, uh, day, morning, night, whatever, whenever, whenever, whatever this is when you're watching this. Uh, I may do a Christmas special, but I don't know. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later, and, uh, yeah, see, I, I can't think of an end punchline, yes. but I'll see you guys, there is my Discord again, I'll be very busy, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs>